Hello. I thought I'd just talk a little bit about Switzerland because I was there at the weekend. Now, when you get into the mountains of Switzerland, it's a kind of a special country. It's a, it's too beautiful in a way. It's beautiful, but it's so expensive. It's unbelievable, and it's insanely, obscenely expensive. And we went last weekend and. When you get to the Swiss border in the car, you've got to uh, pay at the motorway. So that's 44 francs. <coughs> pay you 44 francs driving to Switzerland. And you get up into the mountains and you look around and there is nowhere you can park the car without. <coughs> if there's a space on the road, where it's possible to park, then there'll be a little sign painted with a circle and a line through it. No parking. And so you get into the, the beautiful mountains that you see here and you think, oh, let's go to the mountains. And then you go to the ski lift and you look at the prices and then you'll have a heart attack when you see how much it is to go up in the ski lift to get up on top of them mountains and you think, I'll be sneaky and I will drive up the car. But you'll get there and it says, no cars allowed, only people with special passes, Swiss people, <coughs> are allowed to drive up those roads. If you want to take a trip up the mountains, you either walk, Shanks Pony, or you get a ski lift. And that'll cost you something like 50 bucks or 50 quid. Euros for one way just to get up there and then you might say to yourself hmm I'm sly I'll take that little bus that goes up the mountain it's only a 15 minute bus ride can't cost much a 15 minute bus ride can it ask how much it is 44 quid <coughs> for a 15 minute bus ride And so you say, okay then, we'll walk up. Because th them prices, you know, you, you can't pay it unless you're earning Swiss money. A toilet cleaner in Switzerland earns £25 an hour. And if you come from most countries in Europe, you ain't got a chance. <coughs> and you think, oh, we'll drive up a bit till the road says private and there must be a little place we can stop there. Outside a shop or a supermarket. There'll be a little sign. Three francs to park. <coughs> and at one point I was expecting people to just take out of the back pocket one of those little card readers. You know, the ones I mean, they have in supermarkets. And what if you ask them the directions, they'll tap in the number and give you a receipt before they give you an answer. It's all about... <coughs> it's insane. Absolutely insane. So you've been up on the mountains and you walk around and then you say, oh, let's just nip in that bar and the prices will kill you. Go in there, say you have some sausages, go for the cheapest thing on the menu, some sausages and a bun and a beer. Ka -ching! <laughs> 20 quid or 25 even. So you say, oh dear, that's too much. We'll get something cheap like spaghetti without any sauce. <coughs> 18 pounds. 18 dollars. With sauce, 20. <coughs> and it's insane because on, so basically to get up on top of the mounds, unless you really fit, only very rich people or Swiss people can afford to go up to them top of those mountains. Uh, so, it's kind of like a gated community, Switzerland. The whole place is like a gated community. And um, the prices are just insane. And you look around Switzerland, uh, for example, curbstones. Normal curbstones in every country in, in Europe are made out of blocks of concrete. Not in Switzerland. They've got stones like marble for the curbstones or porphyrstein 
stuff that you'd use in landscape gardening, which are just used for the curbs, for the pavement. Now you ask yourself, where does all this money come? Everyone says Switzerland's swilling with dirty money, every mafioso and uh, corrupt official and m bent millionaire sticks his money in Swiss banks and makes you wonder if it's true, doesn't it, really? Think about Nestle Company. They own about two thirds of all the food companies in the world. So, and they do 500 billion a year takeover to turnover. So every time you buy some food, three quarters of the time, <coughs> money into Switzerland. How did they get so? <coughs> Why is these Swiss people? The 100 years ago, they were poor peasants living up in the hills and the British went there to teach them skiing and laugh at the uh, people with uh, goiters on the necks. 100 years later, it's just... <coughs> so, if you go to Switzerland, what you've got to do is, first of all, take everything with you. We didn't buy anything in the shops there because we couldn't afford it. We took beer from Germany, we took all our food, and the only money, money we gave out was for the accommodation. And there we got a good deal because, well, I'm not telling you why, how, but we did. So, that's Switzerland. Super exclusive, super expensive, but also super beautiful. And I get the feeling that down under that pristine, beautiful thing is a black heart of corruptness as well. But, um... They say you can't have one thing without having its opposite, so maybe that's true about Switzerland. So that's a little tight wad Yorkshire um, monologue about crazy Swiss prices. Have a great day.